So you're looking to move to Idaho and you're looking for more freedom and a better quality of life. We're gonna dive in this video exactly what does that really mean? What kind of freedoms, what kind of quality of life, what kind of affordability are you gonna get when you move here to Idaho? And I myself actually moved from San Diego for those exact same reasons, left my family, left my entire life behind that I had lived in San Diego for essentially 38 years in order to move to Idaho to experience the freedom and quality of life improvements that I was looking for. So a lot of people talk about these ideas, but what do they really mean? What are those actual freedoms? And we're gonna be covering those in this video. I think one great example that illustrates this, the freedom, quality of life, and the experience that you're gonna have moving to Idaho is when I first moved here, one of the first things that I went to was the Stampede Rodeo out in Nampa, Idaho, actually where I live now. And I was just blown away by the whole entire event. First off, it starts off with a prayer, actually honoring God, thanking him for the blessings that we enjoy as a country and specifically here in Idaho and praying for the safety of everyone there participating and the animals involved too. We praise you for it in Jesus' holy, holy name. Amen. So, you know, I came from San Diego where we only had one rodeo out in East County. It was pretty redneck. This was not redneck, but it was super, super fun and absolutely enjoyed it. And again, started out with a prayer and we just had an absolute blast watching the rodeo and honoring America at the same time. I was recently at the Eagle Rodeo, for instance, and we got to meet people all around us. For instance, a couple sitting next to me, young married couple with a young child, got to know them, talking with them. There was a retired couple next to us and they were, you know, okay, they're from California, but how long have you lived here? Over, over a year? Okay, well, you know, seven months, you can qualify for a hunting license, so you're a local now. So, you know, that's a really cool way to meet people and feel good about, you know, getting some welcome even though I'm from California. Now you'll find actually that there's rodeos all throughout the valley. Every single town has their own rodeo. So you can go to each one of these. These are gonna be at different times of the year. They're always just a fun, fun family event. Every community also has their own family friendly events. There are so many events, you can't even list them all here. However, Nampa has things like the block parties in downtown Nampa where they close down the block and have food vendors, live street performances. You can go to all the local restaurants, the bars, and there's classic car shows and just cool little games and events for the kids. Meridian has, for example, the Christmas Parade. So absolutely a fun family event too to go to. They have, they have performances by all kinds of local groups and just a fun event as well. Eagle Idaho has the family fun days, which includes a fun run and a wet and wild parade where you've got the fire department coming through with water trucks and of course the fire trucks spraying everyone down. Super, super fun activities. And those things go on throughout the entire valley. Now let's address that real quick. Being from California, a lot of, you'll find a lot of hate online about Idahoans just really hating on Californians. And to be honest, I have never experienced that in person, but people certainly are keyboard warriors and will say a lot of things online. But I have never come across that myself. Not to say that you won't, but don't be dissuaded by that when you see those kinds of comments online and different Facebook groups, probably on this YouTube channel as well. It's just really not the case in, per in person. That's just not really gonna happen. You'll find that a lot of people have moved here from other areas, whether that's California or other states and not just Oregon, Washington, but really from all over. And there are a lot of locals as well. Now, as long as you come in and you honor their past and don't try to change everything, you're gonna be fine. And that's really why I know you're moving here just like me, because you're not trying to change Idaho, California or whatever state you're coming from likely changed. You didn't change and you're just looking for what it was in the past and more of those conservative values that you're trying to look for here in Idaho. And that's really what you're going to find. I think another thing to think about with freedom and just better way of life is really just going to be the peace of mind that you have living in more of a free state. It's really hard to quantify and give exact examples of that peace of mind and just not having to worry and stress out so much about all the different leftist policies that are gonna be thrown your way being in a state like California. When you don't have to think about it all the time and not being constantly bombarded by what's going on, it really just gives you a tremendous amount of mind space and freedom internally to live a better quality of life. Now let's go into a few specific freedoms that you're going to have here. Obviously, a number one thing for a lot of people is going to be gun freedom. Second Amendment is certainly a huge thing about Idaho. It is a constitutional carry state, so you can open carry and you can also conceal carry without a permit. Now you can, of course, get a concealed carry weapons license. However, um, it's not required. There are certain benefits that come along with that. When you purchase a firearm, there is no waiting period. They just do an instant background check and then you can purchase and walk out with that. With a concealed carry weapons permit, they, you don't have to go through the background check each time you purchase a weapon anymore. I actually have an entire video going through the gun laws on that. So I won't spend too much time on gun laws, but it certainly is a big reason why people enjoy 
living in Idaho. School choice is gonna be another big one for a lot of folks. Now, the public school system here in Idaho is not the best in the nation. If you're looking for the best schools in Treasure Valley, that's pretty much gonna be Meridian and Eagle. If you look on niche.com or greatschools.org, you're gonna find that all these schools are rated around A minus, A to A plus. Outside of that, more of the schools are generally gonna be kind of B, and Idaho just doesn't rank super high for public schools in the nation. However, um, you probably wanna take a look at charter schools and private schools and of course, homeschooling options as well. Now we actually homeschool and we do a homeschool hybrid option and we're really, really happy with our choice on that. We actually don't put our kids in public schools and that's for personal choice reasons and we never will, but there's just a lot of school choice options here in Idaho. Now, if you do have school choice, so you are able to, if you're sending your kids to public school, you can choose the school that you want to send them to. However, you're gonna be responsible for getting them there and there's typically a wait list for the best schools. They're typically impacted. So if you do choose to go to a school outside of your assigned school, district might be a little difficult to get them in. Another benefit around schools are gonna be generally lower cost private schools. So for example, Ambrose is a classical education school, a Christian school, and that is really about half the price or less than half the price of the big classical school back in San Diego that I knew a lot of people that would send their kids to. So if you're looking for a little bit more affordable classical education, then Ambrose could be a good option for you. Now, another thing around that peace of mind of living here in Idaho versus California is that we have three kids and my wife would often get comments in California about how full her hands were. And it was in a negative kind of derogatory way, like I can't believe you have three kids. But here in Idaho, the comments are always very positive and helpful and encouraging. So we really, she just really feels so much better about having three children here in Idaho and actually feeling support by the people in the community. There's a lot of talk right now in the government about how people are saying that those aren't your kids, like literally President Biden has said things, that these are not your children. And that's the nice thing about Idaho is we really feel like, of course, they are our children and we can raise our kids how we want. So again, just that peace of mind of knowing that the government's not gonna invade on our personal life. Now there's some things around affordability that are really great things around here. First off, camping is gonna be actually probably a bit cheaper than what you're used to just because there is a lot of federal land. Now that's kind of a sore spot for Idahoans. About 67% of the state is federal land. That being said, you can camp pretty much anywhere on federal land without having to pay for it. So a lot of people have campers, will go and boondock, pretty much wherever they can, and you never have to pay for it. So that's pretty cool. But even then, the campgrounds are pretty affordable. They are getting harder and harder to book because there are more people here, so you gotta plan that out. But you can still find last minute private campgrounds around that are gonna be pretty affordable for you. Also, when you do register your car, you can add a $10 a year stamp to your car registration that allows you into any state park for free, well, for that $10. So that pays for itself super, super quickly. And related to car registration, it's super inexpensive here, $75 per year to register your vehicle in Idaho. So like I registered my truck when I was in California, I think I spent $750, $800 on that for the first year. Now it's just $75 per year in Idaho. Now here in Idaho, there are a lot of natural health medicine options as well. There's a lot of chiropractic, acupuncture, massage, and just alternative health options that you're gonna find here in Idaho and a big community of people that are really interested in that as well. So you know, if you are coming from California, you are used to having a lot of those options, you're still gonna find those options here in Idaho. Now here's a few uh, freedom things that I think are interesting. I don't necessarily agree with or would do them, but one thing you'll find is that there is no motorcycle helmet law here in Idaho. So you'll frequently see people on their motorcycles without a helmet. So if that's you and that's what you wanna do, that's great, that's your choice. I personally wouldn't do it, but you're gonna see that a lot. I think that kind of illustrates the freedom that people love here in Idaho. Now, 4th of July and New Year's, you're gonna see where the freedom really comes out and that's in the fireworks shows that are all around Idaho. You are gonna find the most insane firework displays in all the neighborhoods from all the residents living here in Idaho in the Treasure Valley. So it's absolutely incredible. Um, it, honestly, if you have PTSD, I'm being serious here, if you have PTSD or you have dogs that are sensitive to fireworks, you may really wanna consider leaving during those times um, or having medication for your dog or whatever it might be um, because it gets crazy and it literally sounds like World War III going off around here, but it is an insane fireworks display and that's where you really see how much people really love their freedom here is certainly on the 4th of July and New Year's. Well, that's just a brief overview of some of the freedom, some of the quality of life improvements that you're gonna find here in Idaho. And if you are looking to make the move here, I myself moved from San Diego, California, and I help people just like you make the move here to Idaho. And I help people just like you and you and you and you and you. And I absolutely love 
helping you make that move. So if you're nine days or 90 days or even two years out, all you gotta do is reach out to me via the information below. We'll jump on a phone call or a Zoom call, figure out the best place for you to make the move and the timeline that makes sense for you. And if you are looking to move to Idaho and you wanna dive into more detail, just watch this video right here where I go into more detail about living here in Idaho. Look forward to seeing you on the next video.